Hi all, and welcome to a special edition of Woody's Leaderboard. We will be reviewing EA's Star Wars Fallen Order. We here at AHR have been awaiting this title to come out for some time now, so let's jump in, shall we? We chose to play with the Steam controller as opposed to the Xbox One controller as it just felt more natural. They really took advantage of the multiple buttons on the controller. Not once did we find ourselves wishing we had an additional peripheral or a button in another spot. In Star Wars Fallen Order, you play a scrapper named Cal Kestis an ex-Jedi who was one of the younglings that apparently survived the attack by Anakin Skywalker, a.k.a. Darth Vader, in Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. He'll be good for us. Here he is, Chief. The game is very Lara Croft style of gameplay, in that you are jumping from one platform to another, climbing walls while solving mechanical as well as environmental puzzles, all while dodging enemies and avoiding traps. <laughs> Yeah, I'm all right. We had a little trouble at first, but after a few times trying to remember left from right... We were well on our way. Whoa! The Empire doesn't know this place exists. The story is well thought out with good character so, design. What's the plan? Will you hide out here? We're done hiding. Environments are also well made with good use of That's particle effects. We really liked the way spaces would compress, then open up again. Great job. The graphics are also very polished, with Sounds lots like of rides. little details that really add Creepy. to the experience. Just passing through, guys. No need to come out and say hi this time. You get a good sense that this is a real world, filled with dirty shipyard scrappers. The interaction with each person reinforces the storyline in a clever way. Here? Not at all what we were expecting. There were some really good transitions, especially when it came to the train to Death Star scene. Nice. It is also nice how they give you time to explore scenery before having to maim or be maimed by everything around you. And there is a lot to explore. The lightsaber play is a bit simplistic compared to other games we've played as attacks are carried out with the press of a button, but overall still satisfying. The cutscenes are seamless with minimal loading times. Although we here at AHR would have loved to have seen this level of detail and storytelling in a VR environment, our overall rating is good. Well, that wraps it up for us here at Action Hero Robot. Check out the extra section as the user agreement is something to behold. Oh, and just in case you forgot, be sure and hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, we'll have to send out the hounds.